Mrs. Carmen Johnson is a realtor in Atlanta's wealthy suburbs. Mrs. Johnson helps northern middle-class black migrants realize their dreams of returning to the New South. She took me to see the kind of properties black people are buying. This is Sandstone Estates. This is our premier um, subdivision of DeKalb County. And this is very culturally diverse. This house here belongs to a doctor, a single female doctor uh, at Emory. Wow, the sister doing and well. And she's about right at 600,000. Hmm. How many homes in this division? 48 homes in this subdivision. Hmm. We have a uh, CNN news anchor that lives in here. We have recording artists that live in here, Kelly Price and Montel Jordan. I can't actually point to their houses because I do work with a lot of um, celebrities mm -hmm. and their privacy is protected. And all these owners are, as we say, culturally diverse. Yes, they are, of color. Hmm. Mrs. Johnson took me to see a home that she's just put on the market. This is her own. Met County. Mm -hmm. And it's known for its school district. After you. Thank you. Now, how far from Central Atlanta are we? We are approximately 30 miles from Central Atlanta. Okay. We're now in the foyer, and we have the cove ceilings above and the crystal chandeliers. Wow. This is the, the bathroom area with a steam shower. It has the full walk-in double heads. Gee, what's, mm -hmm. what's this time? That is mosaic limestone. Mosaic limestone. Mm-hmm. How much is this for sale? Eight hundred and fifty thousand. Eight hundred fifty thousand. Right. That's a still for eighty one hundred square foot of new construction here in Atlanta. Hmm. This is actually a five bedroom, five bath home. The standard building a square foot in this area runs about one hundred and fifty dollars a square foot, and you would be getting this house roughly about a hundred and ten dollars a square foot. Gee. Mm hmm. And this is the kitchen and the keeping room. The keeping room. The keeping room. What do we keep in the keeping room? We keep the family in the keeping room while we're cooking dinner. Oh, that's nice. And that is the um, breakfast room mm -hmm. overlooking the water. Mm -hmm. Right now, this is the guest suite, one of the guest suites, with a huge walk-in closet. Man, I had apartments not this big. <laughs> 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 now, for this neighborhood, is eight fifty reasonable price? Upper yes. end, middle, or what? It would be at the high end of this neighborhood, but I have the best lake lot in in the area, hmm. and all of them have their own suites. Now, how many black people live in this neighborhood? Well, you know, I am not allowed to answer that. Um, realtors are governed by the Antitrust Act, and we are not allowed to give information based on sex, race. Or creed. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let me ask you another question. Okay. Do you know any black people live around here? I'm not allowed to answer. I can that. ask you that as a as a, a resident, can I? No, you can't. You can? Uh, you'd have to come back on a Saturday and watch people mowing the lawn and the kids playing out in the yards. And then see. And okay. then see for yourself. All right. Mm hmm You know any white people live in here? <laughs> <laughs> so what Mrs. Johnson is saying, or isn't saying is that most of these so-called culturally diverse neighborhoods are in fact all black neighborhoods. Is it this that has made Atlanta the mecca of the black middle class? All black schools, all black country clubs, all black churches, in all black and wealthy neighborhoods.